Hey guys, what does Amazon Prime and Netflix actually mean for the insurance and finance industry? I believe we as the insurance and finance industry can learn a lot from the Netflix and Amazon Prime experience and take them as role models and deliver our customers digital products and services that win their hearts, minds and home screens. I brought two of my favorite gadgets, my Chrome Stick and my Amazon Fire Stick. What does Netflix running on my Google Chrome and Amazon Prime running on my Amazon Fire Stick actually have to do with insurance and finance industry? Everything. Because the developments in one industry also affect the insurance and finance industries. Because customer experience new digital products and new digital services every day. And those experiences also change the expectations they expect from us, especially since we have new market entrants like InsurTech and FinTech challenges and offering a totally different insurance and finance experience that, by the way, meet the new requirements of the customer, while we as an industry bombard them with paper. First, Amazon Prime and Netflix, they offer individualized front ends and individualized products. So our family watches from time to time also Netflix. What happens? We have three different profiles. Mine, Katya's and Clara's. And if you click on Clara's profile, our two-year-old daughter, Peppa Pig and Spirit dominating the screen. When you go to Katya's profile, you see Mary Poppins and other movies like that. If you go to mine, you see soccer documentations, action movies, and I get delivered what I want. Amazon Prime and Netflix analyze my behavior and my desires and my wishes and deliver the products and services I want. And the insurance sales agent or the employee at my bank, they call me like this. Robin, we have a new product for you. Robin, we have a great offering. We, 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 we. Most of the cases, they don't care about my situation, my desires, my wishes. It's all about them and fulfilling certain sales plans to sell certain criteria of products and services. And that's a total difference. So on the one hand, individualized front ends and individualized digital products and services. And on the other hand, sales calls that have nothing to do with the reality of me and my family. The second thing, Netflix and Amazon Prime put me in control. A few days ago, we watched with our daughter Clara regular TV. And after the show was finished, she said, more daddy, but there was not more. Amazon Prime and Netflix enable me to consume and be entertained whenever I want. I can push the play button, I can push the stop button, I can forward, I can rewind, I am in control. I can watch whenever I want. What does it mean? Customers today want to be in control and they want to be informed. When I submit an application or a claim form, I don't want to be in the dark for the next eight to 12 months but I want to be informed, I want to have the possibility to interact, I want to have the opportunity to change and amend things and to be in control. Number three, Netflix and Amazon Prime are available everywhere. When I travel, I can watch my favorite TV show in London, New York, Beijing, Dubai, from the minute I stopped it, watching it at home from my couch. For the insurance and finance industry, this means customers want to interact with us whenever they want, whenever they choose to be, and not when we have our opening hours. So we need to be available 24-7. A really good role model, by the way, is the ING. I can call them whenever I want on a Sunday, Saturday, at one o'clock at night, and pose the questions about my accounts or change. So there are some incumbents out there that do a fantastic job in that criteria. Number four. So why are Netflix and Amazon Prime so successful? 
In my view, they relieve pain. I can watch whenever I want, wherever I want, the content I really, really desire. And they deliver it to me in the channel and manner I want. This means for us, when we build a digital product and service, let's not design it in a way that pleases us as insurers and banks, especially focusing on making things more efficient and cheaper or making every department in C-suit and senior VP happy, but actually building digital products and services that relieve the customer of pain and that delivers tremendous value. And by the way, a digital insurance folder or a traditional online banking doesn't cut it in these days anymore. So, if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for our newsletter so we can give you all the hottest, newest trends we scout around the world for free even sooner. Thank you.